I ordered this little infrared sensor module and when it arrived there was a pretty obvious problem. I'll zoom in and show you, but uh, there's a reason I've got these two brushes sitting back here. Okay, let's take a closer look. When I took it out, I mean this side of the board at first glance looks pretty normal. However, when you flip over to this side you see all this white stuff. Let's get in even closer. In this view, you can clearly see what's going on here. We've got all this white stuff on the board. And what is that white stuff? Well, it can be uh, several things, but typically uh, flux, when it reacts with uh, water in the air, will turn white like this. And you say, well, what's the problem with flux? That's kind of natural. When it, well, when it starts to migrate around like this, uh, flux can carry with it other stuff like lead and uh, what have you, copper and it can actually start to short these uh, pins together. It may not carry a lot of current, but if you're dealing with high frequency, that'll, that's what will uh, happen first, is you'll lose high frequency response. Then, uh, the other option is that this is actually lead migration, and the uh, lead has dissolved in uh, water, and this happens when the humidity is either uh, to the point of condensing or actually liquid water. Maybe they used water to try to clean the board and, and they left some behind. So, um, yeah, this is uh, stuff that is migrating around the board, and again, it will cause problems uh, beginning with high frequency, and the worse it gets, you know, it'll go down to low frequency and then actually uh, just short, uh, it'll do a DC short on you, so the, the thing won't work at all. So how can we fix that? Well, that's what those brushes are for. Now, let's remember that this is lead and flux, and these are not good chemicals so you need to deal with it uh, as such. You can't just like, you know, brush this off on the floor or something. You have to deal with the lead uh, issue, otherwise you can end up with serious contamination around your home, your shop, your business, whatever. Typically you want to start with the softest thing you can to remove this stuff. Now this is a natural bristle brush. I've got a toothbrush back here that works. Going up a step would be a brass brush. Uh, I try to avoid using chemicals, um, so yeah, if I can get it off with uh, just something like a natural bristle brush, okay. Um, yeah, I'm making progress as you can see. So that's my preferred mode. I mean, then you can graduate to like a little water, alcohol, something like that. Um, I shouldn't be doing this where I'm doing it because, well, the lead thing and the flux thing, uh, and I don't usually, but uh, for the sake of the camera and the lighting and all that, uh, this is the best place I can do it. But again, you want to capture this stuff, um, whether you're on a uh, individual scale or a commercial scale. And I think this is probably going to suffice. Suffice. Um, If you have some stubborn areas, like between close uh, connections like this, what I found is a piece of plastic will work best. I don't recommend using something like a knife or something metal because, well, you'll probably end up one day ripping through one of your tracings and not even realize you've done it. Um, and yeah, then that will end the, the circuit board's life forever. But yeah, if you have stubborn things that don't want to come up, uh, something like a piece of plastic like this. Uh, this was actually a, a, a women's uh, makeup brush and the teeth have been extracted here. This used to be a little comb, I guess for eyelashes or something. And anyway, I took those out and so I used that pointed end to get between, uh, you know, in small areas where the brush doesn't want to take stuff out or if there's something stubborn. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, when you get one of these circuit boards where you've had either, you know, lead or flux migration or, you know, just junk left over from, from the uh, construction of the board. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.